continuing our monthly series of brand stand conversations we shift our focus on the all important domain of out of home advertising the measures being taken to bring in measurement and transparency and how despite some of the negatives marketers can't do without the medium let's get straight into the discussion the outdoor sector is booming right now uh, how has it evolved according to you over the years? I think we've evolved a long way. Uh, you must understand that uh, way back in the 80s, uh, Unilever had a program called the IHP, which is the Integrated Hoarding Plan, uh, which basically allowed them to display their messages every month uh, on a standard 20 by 10 across India, and, and they bought about a thousand sites. So that really, I think, was the first initiative from a client to sort of push the anvil on the out-of-home space. So it has evolved uh, considerably. Uh, there's a lot of research today, you know, together with media that allows you to evaluate the parameters of the billboard, uh, how good is the site, the reach and frequency. All of those uh, has made a huge difference right now. You've moved on from uh, the outdoor sector to all other areas of advertising. Uh, how, how, how do you view outdoor vis-a-vis -vis the rest? I mean, I'll be a little critical over here. Is that there's very little accountability on the medium in terms of uh, research, reach and frequency, cost per thousand evaluation, like you do with other media. And that's really been the bone of contention between the out-of-home industry and the rest, which has sort of progressed uh, substantially. And I think the lack of any uh, research to be able to tell you what the reach and frequency, even just basic cost per thousand reach, uh, is something that is troubling uh, both the clients, the industry and all of the suppliers together. And if you compare that to the West, for example, wherever research has been instituted in any, in any country, the spends have sort of quadrupled because there is some authenticity to what you do in terms of being able to uh, back uh, the media. Shamitra, in terms of uh, ad spends, Outdoor accounts for possibly just a sixth of the entire ad spent pile. Is this because advertisers are not too comfortable with the, with the, with the sector, they don't have enough trust in it? Uh, actually that's true and like Pratap said, I mean the ultimately investments are going to be made when the client is sure about what he is doing and he, he understands where he's putting his money into. Unfortunately, we do not have an industry syndicated research or a matrix. All agencies have their own sort of tools to sort of uh, tell the client that, okay, you spent so much and you've got this return. But unless there is an industry syndicated research, I don't think investments are going to be made because obviously questions of bias and all that is going to come in. The other most important factor why this industry is where it is, is because there aren't any entry barriers. I mean, anybody can come and put up a hoarding and he's in the business. Now, unless you have a regulation and you have a standardization, you can't just progress. So that's, that's been the bane. Karthi, despite whatever has been said earlier, the fact of the matter is that Kona Kona Kotak you know, continues to uh, add on uh, billboards across the country. So you obviously are a, are a believer in the sector. Oh, absolutely. And uh, thanks for mentioning Kona Kona Kotak. Of all the campaigns that we've ever done, this one certainly, by the very nature of the message, it needed to be visible and outdoor. That's a given, right? Every Kona, I had to be there. So that. For the very, at the very least, that's the reason. But I think uh, we've always believed that outdoor has value because I think some of the things that outdoor can give me, particularly in the affluent segments, which is where we are hearing and seeing that they are reading print very little, their consumption of television seems to be anecdotal at best, and the meters will not tell us whether they are watching or not. All of them are traveling in their fancy cars up and down the city to hundreds of meetings and hundreds of social gatherings, and we are betting on that, and betting that we'll catch them on the street more often than we'll catch them at home or at work. And this is despite the fact that you, you are aware that there's not much measurement available, there's not much research available. The measurement and research is not top-notch, is not uh, comparable to some of the other metrics that some of the other media may have on a relative basis, but we compensate for it with our own measurement. So, for example, when we do our brand track, we will specifically track for how particularly the outdoor has contributed, out of home has contributed to the brand metrics of recall and uh, recognition of the brand and so on. So we do that on the one hand. Having said that, let me also cut these gentlemen some slack and say that uh, we make a big deal of the fact that uh, measurement is robust in print and television. But I think uh, we've seen in the last few years that even that has come up for a lot of debate and discussion. So I'm not so sure outdoor is alone in not being 
measurable and accountable. I think we started this conversation saying, you know, there were a lot of malices in the medium and lack of accountability. But honestly, I mean, clients are still using it and using it consistently, right? So all of the clients can't be wrong. I think it depends. It's, it's very useful when you are centralized, when you want to just look at a Bombay or a Delhi vis-a-vis -vis print or, or television because of the spillage. So, you know, uh, you know, the, the cellular services, when mobile start, started coming in and the Vodafones and, and the Airtel started using it, they're obviously using it for, for a purpose and it's working. So I sort of correct that and say, yes, there isn't enough measurement as we'd like it to be, but at the, at the same time, I think it also works. In you the can't future. take away one fact from out of home, which is it's very local. I mean, whatever you do, I mean, it's so local. And nowadays, the message you're trying to go and reach that customer and touch that customer outdoor is there and it's perhaps that's the reason why you have uh, the outdoor sector getting possibly the first affected whenever there's a, there's a bit of a slowdown. I wouldn't say that it affects outdoors per se, it affects the marketing budget. I mean first thing that anybody snips is the marketing budget and in it outdoor plays a part in it because we don't have probably a robust me uh, measurement mechanism obviously that's the first thing that cannot be justified properly and that, that we get hit. Now for the last 15 years we've been talking about Having a robust mechanism, you know, you have some very discerning players now in the outdoor sector. The international players have come in. Nothing seems to be happening. You see, it's not about one or two international players coming in. If something has to be done in terms of measurement, it's the onus of the media owners to do that. I mean, as agencies, I don't think we can drive that. It's the media owners who's, who's, who has to do this and channelize this uh, this. Uh, this research or whatever needs to be done uh, about it. What is your view, Pratap? I, I don't think so. I think, uh, if you remember, I think Rhoda Mehta, Mehta who was the sort of media dawn in the early 90s, uh, when we were in Ogilvy, uh, the first research in this country was Oscar, um, which is the outdoor sites classification and audience research. And what she got to do was to talk to the Unilever and then the Philips and, and three or four large advertisers of the medium to invest in it strategically and work with a research agency to come out with it. And till date, in my opinion, that's still been the best ever research uh, because it, it, it got you everything in terms of reach, frequency, cost per thousand, everything. It needed funding. So I think to, to, to your point, it needs funding. I don't really care where the funding comes from. It Pratap just mentioned about consortium of clients. Is this, is this something that you would like to possibly uh, look at investing in? I'm already spending so much on out of home. <laughs> uh, we would be uh, happy to support anything that will make our work more measurable and accountable so that the boardroom conversations are so much more straightforward. We have to obviously do it in a calibrated fashion. So in the context of Bark, for example, it, clients aren't being asked to pony up, right? It's the industry that is doing the work. And uh, we are Measure, reaping the benefit of it, but like Pratap earlier said, as soon as something is measurable and accountable, you will see investments grow. So it is between the industry, between the agency industry and the uh, owner industry of the medium, between them they have to figure out a meaningful way in which to do this. Wait, at this point we'll take a short break, we'll be back again with uh, lots more about transparency, about our people trusting uh, the various outdoor agencies and, and, and the like.